hear the word traditional multiplication, what I mean by that is the way that I learned how to multiply double digit or triple digit numbers or um, probably the way your parents learned how to multiply. We call it traditional because now we have other methods such as lattice and partial products. So today I'm going to show you a little bit about traditional multiplication. Today's objective, we will learn traditional multiplication and solve several problems using this concept. First, we're going to start really simple, 73 times 8. And when you see it written down horizontally like this, it's too hard to do it. So what you need to do is you need to rewrite the problem vertically. So let's do that. I'm going to write it down. 73 times 8. Notice how I have the 1's, so the 3 and the 8 are directly below each other, and then I have the 10's um, column over here. And then I'm going to put my equal sign. So we're going to start the problem. And you start on the bottom with the 1's column and you multiply 8 by 3, and 8 times 3 is 24. So you're going to write down the 4, and you're going to carry the 2 because um, it's actually 24, so you're going to put it above the tens column. And then you're going to multiply 8 times 7, which is 56, plus 2 is 58. So I'm going to write that down. And there aren't any other numbers to multiply, so when you look at it, 73 times 8 is 584. Let's do another one. The next one that we're going to look at is 35 times 46. So it's a double digit by double digit. First step, you can't do it horizontally, so I need to write it vertically. 35 times 46. And remember to put your multiplication sign and you want to line up the numbers correctly. 46 equals. You start at the bottom on the right and you do 6 times 5 is 30. So I write down the 0 and I carry the 3. And then I do 6 times 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21. And there aren't any other numbers for the 6 to multiply on the top, so we're done with that. And since we've added this, I'm just going to cross that off. Now, we're going to multiply the 40 times 5 and 40 times 30. So what we're going to do, since we're no longer multiplying by the 1's, we are going to put a zero in this column. Other, some people use an X, I always have used a zero. So we're no longer in the ones column, so we put the zero. We start at the bottom, and we do four times five is 20. You write down the zero, and you carry the two. And then you look at this, four times three, or Technically, it's 40 times 3, but we're just looking at 4 times 3 is 12, and we have 2 to add to it. So 12 plus 2 is 14. And we look at the bottom. Are there any other numbers to multiply by? Nope. So we're done with that. So we're going to add them up. Whoopsie. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1, 2 plus 4 is 6, and 1 is just brought down. So our answer to 40, or I'm sorry, 35 times 46 is 1,610. 
We're going to look at one more, and this one will be a triple digit by a double digit. When multiplying a triple digit by a double digit, you always put the bigger number on top. So 412 times 56. So I want you to say to yourself, where should Mrs. Lau begin? Yep, you're going to begin on the bottom right. So 6 times 2 is 12. Oopsie. Carry the 1. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And I'm done with this, so I'm just going to put a little x through it. 6 times 4 is 24. There aren't any numbers up here to add to it, so it's 24. And I'm done with that column because there aren't any other numbers for me to multiply. I'm no longer multiplying by the ones column because I'm starting to multiply by the 50, so I'm going to put a zero here. Or, like I said before, you could use an x. So 5 times 2 is, what is it? It's 10. Carry the 1. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1. And I really should have had that over a little bit. I should have had it probably over here. But 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. Write it here. And 5 times 4 is 20. Oh, and I bet you caught what I forgot to do. I'm done with this one, so I should have crossed it off. And I'm done multiplying all these numbers by all these. So I'm going to make my addition sign. Oops. Oh, I'm having a hard time here. And I'm going to do my equal. My answer, there's a 2. 7 plus 0 is 7. 4 plus 6 is 10. 1 plus 2 is 3, and 2 plus 0 is 2. So my answer is 23,072. That's the answer or the product of 412 times 56. Now it's your turn. I want you to take these Write them in your notebook, and remember, don't write them horizontally, write them vertically, and solve the problems. And the great thing about this is you can go back and watch some of the problems again if you're unclear about things, and you can um, jot down any questions you have, and just do your best, and this might be your favorite way of how to multiply. It's nice that you have options, but try it the traditional way. And write down any questions that you have in your notebook. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye.